Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring the lives of some illustrious Hollywood names who, despite their stardom and wealth, face the grim reality of losing everything. These narratives of triumph, downfall, and resilience will underscore the fact that even the most glamorous lives can come undone. So, without further ado, let's delve into our list of the top 20 celebrities who lost it all. First up, we have Heidi Montag, an American TV personality, singer, and fashion designer born on September 15, 1986, in Crested Butte, Colorado. Montag's claim to fame primarily came from her stint on the reality TV series The Hills, which aired from 2006 to 2010. Her relationship with Spencer Pratt, whom she later married, also grabbed headlines. Montag's career initially thrived as she ventured into music and fashion, even releasing an album and launching her fashion line. However, her conspicuous decision to undergo a series of drastic plastic surgeries, including 10 procedures in a single day in 2010, attracted widespread media attention and criticism. The hefty costs associated with these surgeries, along with a dip in her career, led to financial woes. Over time, Montag and Pratt grappled with personal and financial difficulties while trying to sustain their celebrity stature. Currently in her late 30s, Montag's journey serves as a stark reminder of the pressures and repercussions of fame and extreme body modification in the world of glamour and entertainment. Sly Stone, originally named Sylvester Stewart, born on March 15, 1943, in Denton, Texas, is a revered American musician, singer, songwriter, and producer. He ascended to fame as the leader of the groundbreaking band Sly and the Family Stone in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Their fusion of rock, funk, and soul music marked them as pioneers within the music industry. However, Stone's career took a downturn due to personal and financial issues. Problems with substance abuse and legal troubles led to financial hardships and a phase of homelessness. Despite his early triumphs, Stone's later years were overshadowed by obscurity and adversity. Now in his early 80s, Stone's legacy as a musical trailblazer is still celebrated, even though he's faced considerable challenges throughout his life. Next on our list is Teresa Giudice, an American TV personality, renowned for her role in the reality TV series, The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Born on May 18, 1972 in Patterson, New Jersey, Giudice's popularity surged due to her appearances on the show, which offered a glimpse into the lives of affluent New Jersey women. Teresa and her husband, Joe Giudice, however, fell into a well-publicized financial abyss. They declared bankruptcy in 2009, drowning in debts amounting to millions of dollars. In 2014, they were jailed for multiple counts of fraud and conspiracy. Teresa served 11 months, while Joe served over three years before being deported to Italy. Now in her early 50s, Giudice's journey has been marked by legal struggles, personal hurdles, and continued reality TV appearances. Our next celebrity is Brett Butler, an American actress and comedian born on January 30, 1958 in Montgomery, Alabama. She rose to prominence for her lead role in the successful sitcom Grace Under Fire, which was broadcast from 1993 to 1998. Butler's portrayal of a single mother grappling with life's adversities resonated with viewers and catapulted her to fame. 
However, her quick rise was followed by a turbulent period. Issues with substance abuse and onset conflicts resulted in her dismissal from grace under fire. Financial hardships and personal issues further hampered her career, plunging her into a period of obscurity. As of 2023, Butler is in her mid-60s. She has made occasional appearances in television and comedy over the years, but her career never fully rebounded from the obstacles she faced during her peak years. Next, we have Amanda Bynes, an American actress and former child star, born on April 3, 1986, in Thousand Oaks, California. She rose to fame through her roles in popular Nickelodeon TV shows like All That and The Amanda Show during the late 90s and early 2000s. Her talent and comedic timing won her a place in the audience's hearts. However, in the mid-2000s, Bynes underwent a highly publicized descent marked by legal issues, unpredictable behavior, and struggles with mental health. She declared her retirement from acting in 2010, and her actions during this period resulted in a conservatorship, a legal arrangement often employed for individuals incapable of making their own decisions. Currently, Bynes is in her late 30s and has been on a path of recovery, focusing on her mental health and personal wellness. Her narrative serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges encountered by child stars in the show business industry. Doug Hutchison, an American actor born on May 26, 1960, in Dover, Delaware, is known for his role as Percy Wetmore in the 1999 film The Green Mile, where he portrayed a cruel prison guard. This role highlighted his acting prowess and garnered significant attention. However, maintaining his career momentum was challenging for Hutchison. He became more recognized for his personal life, particularly his controversial marriage to Courtney Stodden, who was just 16 years old when they wed in 2011. The unconventional relationship drew heavy media attention and adversely affected his professional life. Currently, Hutchison is in his early 60s, his career has seen a downturn, and he is more associated with the controversial aspects of his personal life than his acting contributions. Stanley Kirk Burl, better known by his stage name MC Hammer, is an American rapper, dancer, and entrepreneur born on March 30, 1962, in Oakland, California. He achieved fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s with his innovative rap music typified by catchy rhythms and intricate dance moves. His 1990 album, Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him, spawned the iconic hit, You Can't Touch This. Despite his tremendous success, MC Hammer grappled with financial difficulties due to his extravagant spending and opulent lifestyle, leading him to file for bankruptcy in 1996 with outstanding debts in the millions of dollars. However, he refused to let this setback define him. MC Hammer reinvented himself as a tech entrepreneur and preacher. As of 2023, he is in his early 60s and continues to pursue various ventures, showcasing resilience and adaptability throughout his career. Dennis Rodman, born on May 13, 1961, in Trenton, New Jersey, is a former American professional basketball player known for his incredible skills on the court and his eccentric behavior off it. Rodman's NBA career, which included stints with the Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons, was distinguished by his remarkable rebounding skills and defensive talent, earning him numerous awards and championships. However, while Rodman's basketball career flourished, his personal life was plagued by addiction issues and unpredictable behavior. Post-NBA retirement, he encountered financial challenges, 
and his eccentric public appearances garnered more attention than his basketball accomplishments. As of 2023, Rodman, in his early 60s, remains an iconic figure in sports and entertainment, renowned for his unique and flamboyant persona. Gary Coleman was an American actor, best known for his role as Arnold Jackson in the television sitcom Different Strokes, 1978-1986. His catchphrase, What you talking about, Willis, became an enduring cultural touchstone. Sadly, Coleman's life took a difficult turn after the show ended. He faced various legal, financial, and health issues. He filed for bankruptcy in 1999, attributing his financial troubles to mismanagement of his trust fund and business exploitation by his parents and advisors. In terms of health, Coleman was born with a congenital kidney disease that stunted his growth, leading to his small stature, which was 142 centimeters as an adult. He underwent two kidney transplants and required frequent dialysis. In 2010, Coleman died at the age of 42 due to a brain hemorrhage after a fall at his home in Utah. His death and the events surrounding it were shrouded in controversy, including disputes over his estate and questions about the circumstances of his injury. Gary Busey, an American actor and musician, was born on June 29, 1944, in Goose Creek, Texas. He first came into prominence for his roles in significant films such as The Buddy Holly Story, 1978, earning him an Academy Award nomination. His intense performances and unique personality made him a standout character in Hollywood. However, Busey faced personal adversities, including issues with substance abuse, which had a negative impact on his career. His unpredictable behavior and legal problems made the news, hindering his ability to secure significant roles in mainstream cinema. Currently, Busey is in his late 70s, Despite his career not reaching the same peaks as in his early days, he has continued to act in various film and television projects, maintaining his enduring presence in the industry. Kimberly Denise Jones, known as Lil's Kim, was born on July 11, 1974, in Brooklyn, New York. She is a renowned American rapper, songwriter, and actress who gained prominence in the mid-90s as a significant figure in hip-hop. Her provocative lyrics and bold persona made her a trailblazer in the male-dominated industry. Despite legal troubles, including a year-long prison sentence for perjury in 2005, and financial challenges, Lil' Kim, now in her late 40s, remains an influential figure in hip-hop. Todd Herzog, born on January 29, 1985, in Pleasant Grove, Utah, is an American reality TV star who rose to fame by winning the reality show Survivor China in 2007. His strategic gameplay and affable personality won over viewers. However, Herzog faced personal struggles with alcoholism after his victory, which heavily impacted his life and career, leading to multiple rehab stays and health setbacks. Now in his late 30s, Herzog has embarked on a journey towards recovery and shares his story to inspire others dealing with addiction. Fantasia Barino, an American singer and actress born on June 30, 1984, in High Point, North Carolina, achieved widespread fame by winning the third season of the reality TV competition series, American Idol, in 2004. Despite facing financial difficulties, personal struggles, and health issues, including vocal cord problems, Fantasia, now in her late 30s, continues to pursue her passion for music, 
and remains a respected figure in the R&MB and gospel genres. Kim Basinger, an acclaimed American actress and former fashion model, was born on December 8, 1953, in Athens, Georgia. She gained fame through her roles in various films like L.A. Confidential, 1997, for which she won an Academy Award, and her iconic role as Vicki Vale in Batman, 1989. Her stunning looks and acting talent made her a Hollywood sensation. Despite experiencing financial troubles due to a failed town project in Georgia, which led to her filing for bankruptcy in 1993, Basinger rebounded and continued her successful acting career. As of 2023, Basinger, in her late 60s, remains an esteemed figure in the film industry for her versatility and enduring contributions to cinema. Tony Braxton, born on October 7, 1967, in Severn, Maryland, is a celebrated American singer, songwriter, and actress. She rose to fame in the early 90s with her self-titled debut album, featuring the chart-topping hit Unbreak My Heart. Despite facing financial difficulties due to contractual disputes and health issues, leading to filing for bankruptcy twice, Braxton continues to release music, write books, and act. Now in her mid-50s, her resilience and enduring talent keep her a revered figure in the music industry. David Adkins, better known as Sinbad, was born on November 10, 1956, in Benton Harbor, Michigan. He is an American stand-up comedian and actor who gained fame for his witty and family-friendly comedy, becoming a household name in the 1990s. His successful career included roles in television shows like A Different World and films like Jingle All the Way. However, Sinbad faced financial difficulties in the early 2000s due to poor investments and overwhelming debt, leading to filing for bankruptcy twice in 2009 and 2013. Now in his mid-60s, Sinbad continues to perform stand-up comedy and remains a cherished figure in the comedy world, known for his humor and positive energy. Burt Reynolds, born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan, was an iconic American actor, director, and producer. He became famous for his charismatic performances in films like Deliverance, 1972, Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, and Boogie Nights, 1997, the latter earning him an Academy Award nomination. Despite his success, Reynolds faced financial troubles in the early 1990s due to failed business ventures and a costly divorce from Lonnie Anderson. Reynolds passed away on September 6, 2018, at the age of 82, leaving a legacy as an iconic figure in film and entertainment. Kelly Rutherford, born on November 6, 1968, in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, is an American actress best known for her portrayal of Lily Vander Woodson in the popular TV series Gossip Girl. Her performance garnered a dedicated fan base and cultural icon status. However, Rutherford faced personal and financial difficulties due to a highly publicized custody battle for her two children, Hermes and Helena, with her ex-husband. Despite these challenges, Rutherford, currently in her mid-50s, continues to work in the entertainment industry, a testament to her resilience and dedication to her craft.
Fahim Rashid Najam, known as T-Pain, was born on September 30, 1985, in Tallahassee, Florida. As an American rapper, singer, and record producer, he became famous for his innovative use of autotune in his music, a defining feature of his signature sound. Despite achieving critical acclaim and commercial success with hits like Buy You a Drank and Bartender, T-Pain encountered financial difficulties due to extravagant spending and mismanagement. As of 2023, T-Pain in his late 30s continues to create music and remains a respected figure in the music industry, known for his unique vocal style and influence on contemporary hip-hop and R&B. Now, the lives of these celebrities show that fame and fortune don't always lead to a perfect outcome. Their stories serve as potent reminders that life's challenges can affect anyone, regardless of status. These explorations of struggles and resilience are both enlightening and thought-provoking. If this content piqued your interest, don't forget to engage with more similar content and stay updated on the latest episodes.